October 25th, 2025. Hikers on California's Golden Autumn Trails felt the ground tremble beneath their feet. A magnitude 1.6 earthquake rippled through Mammoth Lakes, followed by another the next day. What looked like peaceful Sierra Nevada mountains was hiding something enormous underneath. Scientists now know these weren't random tremors. They're coming from Long Valley Caldera, a supervolcano that's been stirring for 45 years, sending subtle signals that most people never notice. But what happened when this volcano first woke up in 1980 destroyed thousands of families without a single drop of lava. And they've been covering it up ever since. Let me take you back to where this all started. May 25th, 1980. Ronald Reagan is president, the economy is booming, and Mammoth Lakes, California is living the American dream. This isn't just any mountain town. This is where successful families from Los Angeles and San Francisco buy their slice of paradise. Vacation homes are selling like hotcakes. The ski resort is packed every winter. Local businesses are thriving. Property values are climbing year after year. But underneath all this success, something ancient was stirring. Mammoth Lakes sits on top of Long Valley Caldera, a supervolcano that's 20 miles wide and formed from an eruption 760,000 years ago that literally reshaped the Western United States. We're talking about a blast that shot 650 cubic kilometers of ash across the continent. So when the ground started shaking on May 25th, families getting ready for breakfast felt their houses sway like ships in a storm. Four massive earthquakes, magnitude six, hit within hours of each other. But here's what made scientists' blood run cold. These weren't random earthquakes. They were happening right along the edge of that ancient supervolcano crater. When U.S. geological survey teams rushed to the scene with their instruments, what they all found beneath the ground made them realize this sleepy giant was waking up. The resurgent dome that's the bulge of land sitting directly over the magma chamber, had swelled 25 centimeters in just a few months. Nearly 10 inches of mountain literally growing upward. Seismic equipment was detecting swarms of smaller earthquakes every single day. The ground was heating up. Gas emissions were increasing. Every scientific indicator pointed to the same terrifying conclusion. Long Valley Caldera was entering a period of unrest for the first time in recorded history. But nobody understood what was really about to be destroyed. Because the most devastating eruption wasn't going to come from underground. It was going to come from Washington, D.C. For two years, scientists quietly monitored the situation. They watched the ground swell. They measured the earthquakes. They analyzed gas samples. And in 1982, they made a decision that would haunt this community for decades. The U.S. Geological Survey issued what they called a Notice of Potential Volcanic Hazards for Long Valley Caldera. This single piece of paper became an economic nuclear bomb that obliterated everything these families had worked for. Within days of the announcement, property values crashed 30 to 40 percent overnight. If you owned a $200,000 vacation home, and remember, this is 1982 money. You just lost $60,000 to $80,000 in a single week. That's like losing a quarter million dollars today. Banks immediately stopped approving loans for anything in Mammoth Lakes. Insurance companies started canceling policies or jacking up rates to impossible levels. Businesses that depended on tourism watched their reservation books empty out as news media ran headlines about California's ticking time bomb. Local businessman Glenn Thompson lived through this nightmare. He watched his property investments turn into worthless paper practically overnight. Hotels sat empty during peak ski season, restaurants laid off workers, gift shops closed their doors. And here's the kicker, the volcano didn't erupt. Not in 1982, not in 1983, not ever. The warning that was supposed to save lives instead destroyed them. Families lost their homes, their businesses, their entire life savings, not to lava, but to fear. Mammoth Lakes fought back the only way they knew how. They sued the federal government for $100 million. The lawsuit was dismissed, 
the government claims sovereign immunity. Basically, we're the federal government. We can say whatever we want, and you can't touch us for the consequences. But something interesting happened after that lawsuit. Government scientists learned a valuable lesson. Keep your mouth shut about volcanic risks, or communities will destroy you in court. When Long Valley Caldera stirred again in the 1990s, scientists spoke in whispers instead of warnings. They used careful language. They coordinated with local officials before making any public statements. The message was crystal clear. Economic stability matters more than complete transparency about geological risks. But the most brilliant piece of this cover-up was still to come. By the mid-1980s, it was clear that Long Valley Caldera wasn't going back to sleep. Scientists were still detecting earthquake swarms. The ground was still rising. Gas emissions were increasing. So local emergency officials did what they were supposed to do. They built an emergency evacuation route, a road specifically designed to get thousands of people out of the Caldera area quickly if the volcano showed signs of imminent eruption. But here's the problem. You can't call it an evacuation route because tourists don't vacation in places that need evacuation routes. So they renamed it the Mammoth Scenic Loop. Think about that for a minute. A road built specifically for escaping volcanic death was rebranded as a tourist attraction. This isn't just clever marketing, and this is systematic deception about ongoing danger. Tourists drive that road today, taking selfies and enjoying the mountain views, completely unaware they're traveling along an escape route designed for fleeing a volcanic disaster. But while they were busy hiding the evacuation route in plain sight, the volcano was providing plenty of evidence that the danger was real and ongoing. Starting in 1989, carbon dioxide gas seeping from the awakening caldera began killing trees around Horseshoe Lake. Entire forests were dying, suffocated by invisible volcanic gas rising from underground. The dead trees are still there today. The gas concentrations can be deadly to hikers who wander into low-lying areas where the heavier-than-air carbon dioxide accumulates but you won't find dramatic warning signs about volcanic gas dangers. Instead, there are subtle notices about hazardous tree conditions and reminders to stay on designated trails. The real risk is downplayed, disguised, and minimized. This pattern of concealment goes far beyond one small California town. After the economic disaster of 1982, volcanic monitoring agencies across the United States fundamentally changed how they communicate with the public. Gone are the stark warnings and emergency notices. Instead, we get color-coded alert systems that require a geology degree to understand. Officials coordinate with local business leaders before releasing information that might affect tourism or property values. And that brings us to what they're hiding from you right now. In 2025, just three days ago, October 25, 2025, that magnitude 1.6 earthquake I mentioned at the beginning rippled through Mammoth Lakes. It was followed by another quake the next day, and another one after that. These aren't isolated events. They're part of an ongoing pattern that's been happening for 45 years straight. Since 1978, the ground inside Long Valley Caldera has risen nearly 80 centimeters. That's over two and a half feet of mountain, literally growing beneath a major tourist destination. Most volcanic monitoring agencies consider any ground deformation over 10 centimeters to be significant. Long Valley has exceeded that by eight times over. Carbon dioxide emissions continue to fluctuate between hundreds and thousands of tons per day. The gas that's been killing trees since 1989 continues to seep from the ground, creating invisible danger zones that shift with wind and weather patterns. Modern GPS monitoring technology shows the resurgent dome continues its slow but steady rise. Advanced imaging technology completed in 2023 revealed a magma chamber sitting just three to six miles beneath the surface where families are building vacation homes and businesses are serving tourists. The scientific studies describe this chamber as having a crystalline lid. Imagine a pressure cooker with a loose seal. The magma underneath has cooled and thickened over time, but it's still active, still releasing fluids that caused those earthquakes we felt just days ago. Yet on October 21st, 2025, just four, 
Days before that recent earthquake, the U.S. Geological Survey released their weekly update declaring all California volcanoes at normal-slash-green status with no immediate threat. They're using the exact same playbook that devastated Mammoth Lakes 40 years ago. Careful language designed to avoid economic panic rather than provide complete transparency about ongoing risks. You're not getting the full truth about volcanic risks because telling you the truth might hurt property values, tourism revenue, and local businesses. The same agencies responsible for monitoring these dangers are also responsible for managing the economic impact of their announcements. Those October earthquakes, the ones happening right now in 2025, are evidence that this volcano is still very much awake. But you'll only find them mentioned in technical reports and scientific databases that most people never see. Three days ago, the Earth moved beneath Mammoth Lakes. Most people didn't even notice. But now you know what those tremors really mean. And why they don't want you to know. What other geological risks in your area are being downplayed to protect local economies? Subscribe for more investigations into the 